good evening everyone hope you are having a good day so far thank you for joining the session today i'm yogita and i manage the online certification and courses for individual learners now i would like to introduce ms nisha shah director finexpert professionally she is a chartered accountant with all india rank in both ca inter and final she possesses an excellent track record academically and rank holder in tyb com at mumbai university and year 12 in mumbai board with more than 25 years of experience in corporate finance and investment banking in her last stint she was director investment banking at motilal oswal other than academics she was involved in nscc and volleyball as a state player so i would now request her to address you all and trek through the cfx program miss nisha yeah thank you yogita and good evening everyone and a warm welcome and as i understand uh, most of you are either graduates post graduates and about to begin your career we have few me you uh, know who have a little work experience and i can understand uh, this is a very crucial stage in our life when we have to decide about our career and i'm sure there are a lot of questions which keep coming to our mind there is a lot of anxiety fear you know what should we do what kind of job should i do will i be successful so uh, definitely i mean this is uh, very natural so a small piece of advice to all of you uh, when you are starting your career just be open minded be exploratory don't have any preconceived notions you know i don't want to do this job or i want to do a particular job because trust me friends at this stage it is very difficult to gauge what is actually our interest you know unless you start working you will not realize and there are hundreds of corporates and within each corporate there are hundreds of job pro up whatever is coming rather than just not doing it you know be there for six months one year and this is the time when you are starting your career you can be exploratory uh, also uh, friends <clears throat> since i mean you know, this is about your career i would uh, request if any of you wants to have your parents also sit with you so that you no know, they will also understand and maybe sometimes it happens like you now if you are not able to decide if you have your parents uh, the understanding or the decision can be much faster so just give me a minute i'll just share my screen yeah is my screen visible yep yeah guys you can uh, just you know we will go through this presentation and towards the end we will take all your questions um, uh, whatever you have if you are able to hear properly if you have any question you might want to put it on the chat box please unmute yourself and be patient with us thank you thanks yogita so our uh, friends as i was telling you this is a very crucial stage in our career when there is a transition from a learner to an earner and when i say that this transition is a huge transition because till now you are in a very comfortable zone like you no know, within home and maybe if you are studying or just uh, finished your studies so when you step out into a corporate world it's a completely different world there maybe you may be individually very good but sometimes that is not sufficient because you have to work as a team and in your team you may have uh, uh, members you no know, with different temperament somebody doesn't do work somebody tries to play politics and i'm just saying i mean there may, there are people of different nature different temperament and you have to work with them as a team so no it is important that we are prepared not only academically technically but also behaviorally on our soft skills this is very very important 
and we are trying to address all these issues uh, through the certification course again when you are choosing your career the most important thing is you should join a industry which is growing you should join a company in that industry basically the company which has the uh, no a right growth prospects because if you are in the right company in the right sector which is growing it has a huge potential definitely your growth also comes along with the company and when i say that what better than a bfsi sector bfsi is banking financial services and insurance so as you can see banking comprises all the banks public sector private foreign banks small finance banks financial services comprise capital markets broking companies mutual funds wealth management companies non banking finance companies housing finance companies and insurance covers all the three uh, insurance life health and general so now this sector as you can see because it covers so many companies it's a huge sector just to give you a glimpse only under banking 200 lakh crore assets are managed in the mutual fund 36 lakh crores no the total investments so you can see how big is this sector but again it is very important that the sector is huge but does it have the potential to grow because we have to join a company a sector which is growing it has a huge potential so if you see here at the bottom out of 130 crores of indian population only 10 crore people are investing in mutual fund uh, only 6 crore dmat accounts are there so you know how much is the growth potential for this sector and insurance is to very very uh, low penetration so now there is a huge potential for this industry to grow so the reasons we should work in a bfsi sector as i told it is one of the fastest growing industries in india very importantly because when we are looking for a job always we want like no we the aspiration is always there that we should get a good salary and to tell you this is also one of the highest paying industry in india today as you are aware it sector the technology and the financial services now these are the sectors which are uh, a good pay masters and also they are the largest recruiters so in four out of five years bfsi sector was the largest recruiter so now our chances of getting a job in this increases because the recruitments are in large numbers and definitely i mean it is one of the large good paying uh, industry also the other important thing about this industry is like it is career in money uh, we all generally i mean we say we work for money but it is very important for us to know uh, to uh, ensure that our money is also working for us right and when i say that what does it mean we have to ensure that whatever we are earning whatever salary we are getting we are doing a proper investment it is giving us proper returns just to give you a very small example you have 100 rupees today and assume you can buy 1 liter of petrol i mean though the petrol prices have gone up but just for a simplicity calculation purposes we are saying the petrol price is 100 rupees and you can buy 1 liter of petrol with 100 rupees you all know uh, the inflation is around 7% right and the fixed deposit rates if you put your money in a bank in a fixed deposits it's around 5 5 and a half depending upon the bank which you have kept it so again for simplicity sake uh, see let's take the fixed deposit rate as 5% so if you have 100 rupees you have put in a fixed deposit after one year you get 105 right 100 plus 5 rupees interest you have 105 rupees and since the inflation is 7% the petrol price has become 107 now after one year with the money which you have you are not able to buy one liter of 
petrol also because the petrol price is 107 whereas the money which you have is just 105 what does that mean it means that your money has degrown you have become poorer so it's it's very important that how do we ensure that our money works for us and when i say that i am not saying that you should not put your money in fixed deposits at all yeah but it has to be proper allocated so no this is very very important for us to understand where to invest how to invest when to invest if we have to have insurance policies no what amount how much premium what kind of policies so no, this is like an essential life skill and it is very very important so you need to understand all these things and again, the most important part is it's a knowledge-based sector. If you are working in a manufacturing company or maybe in an accounts department, you are doing the same work again and again. So after maybe five years, 10 years, it becomes a bit monotonous and a bit boring, right? But here in this industry, every six months, every one year, there are some new products coming in like maybe uh, 20 years earlier people hardly knew about mutual fund they would have hardly known what an sip is but today especially the youngsters are the day they start earning you know, they start investing in through sips which is a very good thing so i'm just saying you know every six months one year now like there are e the exchange traded funds are there the alternate investments there's something or the other keeps coming which keeps us excited. So through this certification course, Chartered Financial Expert, we are trying to make you not only job ready, but also entrepreneur ready. And when I say that, few of you who wants to join an industry, you will definitely be ready. But if some of you wants to also start your practice or become a financial advisor you can do that after you have done this and people who are being working in some organization there also it will help them to upskill and get maybe a, a better job or a better exposure about the financial market so in this certification course we are covering everything of the bfsi sector so first, let me come through the uh, curriculum of this uh, program, the CFX course, what all will be covered under the certification. So if you see on the technical side, we have primary market, secondary market, derivatives. So these are about capital markets. Again, uh, since you all are graduates, postgraduates, you may be thinking we have studied this in our college uh, during our college times, right? And yeah, I agree. And maybe even if you Google, you may get some information, some theory about it. But the important part is, and what we are trying to address through this certification is your, practic your practical understanding about these concepts right how these are uh, request everyone to please uh, mute yourself so the important part is how to understand the practical application of these concepts right just to give you again a small example like uh, since you all i'm assuming are from commerce finance background like we talk about the price earning ratio all these ratios would have done eps price earning ratio and if i ask any of you maybe you can tell me the definition the formula of uh, price earning ratio but the important part is what does that actually mean if i give you an example See, there are two companies, company A and company B. Who uh, the company A, the revenue, the profit, the borrowings is exactly the same as the company B. If I say the price earning multiple of company A is eight, 
and the price earning multiple of company B is 10. Which company should I buy? Uh, any any uh, replies, any thoughts on this? Uh, yeah. uh, not Nisha at this stage, maybe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Any, no. yeah. Sorry. Do you want to keep it interactive? Uh, you want to have an interaction with the people? No, I was just thinking if somebody wants to put in the chat box, not too much. Uh, it's uh, okay. I mean, so the, the point I'm trying to tell you is he, I mean, here the answer is basically you should try to, uh, you should invest or you should buy a company A because. It has a low P multiple, which means it has a huge potential to grow. So the point I'm trying to tell you is you should understand what is a price earning multiple. If a price earning multiple is eight, what it means is you have to pay eight rupees for every one rupee earning of the company. So now this practical understanding is very important. Again, when our trainers who are from the industry, who have been there for 15, 20 years, who will be teaching you about this course. So when they talk about primary markets, they will talk about IPO. They will tell you which are the companies who have just come out with an IPO. How did they get listed? So now you can relate it to the actual market. And this is what is required when you enter into a corporate. You should know what's happening in the market and how do you analyze it. Similarly, when we are teaching you secondary markets, we will show you the screen, how the trades are actually done. So now this is very important that you understand the practical application, the concepts and just not the theory because till college it was okay. Your idea or your objective was just to pass the exam and I have seen many times I mean even if you don't understand some concepts you just ratify it and write it in the exam because our whole objective is he was we just need to clear the exam so no but when you are entering a corporate world it's a completely different you need to understand and this is what through this certification course CFX we will explain you the contextual part of all these uh, products and what these uh, thing, um, you know, all these banking, lending, what does this actually mean? So, as I told you, we will have capital markets. Then we have banking and lending. Again, here we'll tell you how does a bank work. We all know banks accept deposits. They give loans. But how do they analyze the company? What are the different kind of banking products? All this will be covered. In the insurance, we'll cover all high health, life in general. We'll also teach you on financial planning. And if you see on the extreme right, uh, we will prepare you for an NISN certification. Again, this is a very important certification. NISM, National Institute of Securities Market, is a SEBI's initiative and you know SEBI is the regulator for the capital markets. So SEBI has prescribed certain certifications which are mandatory for specific job roles. Like if you have to uh, drive a car, you need a driving license, right? Similarly, there are certain certifications which are mandatory. Again, to give you my example, I was a, a CA. And I was into a merchant banking. Now, so though I was a CA, me and my team had to appear for the merchant banking certification. So now your qualification doesn't matter. Maybe you are a CA, PhD or whatever. But there are certain these gatekeeping certifications as mandatory certifications. So as a part of CFX, we will train you for the certification. We will have a lot of practice tests. We will give you the operational support also to get yourself registered on the NISM and appear for the exam. And again, I'm telling you students, these certifications, if you have uh, on your resume, few of this NISM certification, it improves, it gives a lot of weight on your resume. Uh, no, we have tie up with so many corporates with more than 50 plus corporates across banks, mutual funds, broking companies. And 
all of them have been asking us that they want candidates who have done this certification in fact we in our organization we have been training the employees of the banks like access bank employees we would have trained i mean last year 10 to 15000 employees on this certification but what banks have also realized is that once uh, the candidate joins an organization it becomes very difficult for them to study along with the work and so the pass percentage is also very less and it's an additional cost and a uh, time uh, spent from the corporate point of view so all these corporates have told us that they they need students they need candidates who have done this certification so no we have included this certification also as a part of the cfx program and again as i told you so this is on the technical side on the behavioral side again it is very very important when you are working in a corporate you know you have to be mentally prepared so how do you manage your time how do you excel in your work students uh, who will be just starting their career we will train them on how to appear for an interview how do you prepare your cv we will take some mock interviews so that you are fully prepared when you appear uh, for an interview in front of a corporate and again the important part is the selling part of it the selling skills because today 60 to 70% jobs are all marketing related sales related and it is very very important for us to understand this to learn this and again friends your uh, the marketing or the consulting what we tell you is completely different matlab maybe you or your parents may have ki jo pehle tha ki if you are joining a insurance company you know you have to go door to door sell an lic policy so that is no longer the case it's completely changed now you know there is a lot of data available so now how do you analyze the data make the most of it so here we try to cover everything so that you are completely prepared to enter into a, a corporate world so uh, this certification course is of 250 hours out of which 125 hours you will have live trainer led sessions and again all our trainers are from the industry have the corporate experience so they will teach you for 125 hours we will generally have uh, classes for 2 hours every day so the entire course will be completed in 2 2 and a half months we will give you access to the content on our lms so that you can study revise it at your own pace we'll have lot of case studies and quizzes for you to understand the content easily and as i told you we will be training you on nisn series 5 the mutual fund distributor certification which is a very widely accepted certification in the industry there will be four practice tests uh, for this nisn exam and if you clear all these four practice tests your chances of clearing the final an ism exam is like i would say 90 95% so now we train you we give you lot of practice tests we will help you uh, get yourself registered with an ism and also schedule the an ism exam for you so the an ism exam will be conducted at an ism either online or offline we will uh, help you with both the options and the final cfx exam will be taken online and we will be giving 100% placement assistance to all the candidates so now for a limited period we have come out with the scheme where we are saying that you just have to pay uh, only 50% of the program fee upfront and the balance 50% you can, it can be paid you have to pay after you get placed so as i told you just to again summarize about this certification program you will uh, it was a holistic course you will be trained on both the technical side and the soft skill side there will be a 100% placement assistance 
and of course i mean you can uh, recover the program fees in just less than 2 months so these are some of the pictures of the uh, courses uh, we are already working with 25 colleges in mumbai and you know, all these a rated autonomous colleges so these are just few of the pictures where you know uh, we have done these uh, programs and the students have cleared the nisn certification so these are the pictures of the felicitation ceremony which we had uh, conducted for the students uh, of our last year and there were industry uh, uh, eminent personalities from the industry who had participated in this there was also a wide media coverage about the same so these are our placement partners where we will help you to uh, get a job with this so if you see banks we have kotak bank dbs rbl utkarsh few more banks have been added now on the mutual funds again we have we have all the reputed names hdfc mutual fund birla idfc lic vito uh, we have dsp and canara and a lot more uh, mf so as i told you we have more than 50 corporates uh, for these placement tie ups again on the broking distribution companies the insurance companies we have all the marquee names in the industry so these are the success stories of few of our students uh, i don't know how many of you know about morning star so morning star is an independent it's a global investment uh, research company so priyanka she joined as a research analyst with a package of 3.9 lakhs she was a fresh graduate uh, amit joined with hdfc mutual fund with a package of 3.2 lakhs priya joined a uh, birla mutual fund with a package of 3 lakhs apurva has joined uh, kotak bank with a package of 3.5 lakhs uh, there were recently a, a student who had joined vito mutual fund with a package of 4.5 lakhs so i mean it uh, goes on basically so these are uh, some of the uh, industry experts the college the students and maybe you can just hear what they have to say about the certification course so the first one he is mr swaroop mohan ji who is who is the ceo of mirai asset uh, management on behalf of mirai asset we'd like to thank uh, finex and cial for allowing us to be part of this very novel process of graduating young students from being educated to job worthy Uh, it is a process which we've enjoyed being part of, and we wish uh, all the students all the very best in their careers, and hope they shine uh, as as the future for them is extremely bright. Uh, once again, uh, we'd like to thank all involved in uh, allowing us to be part of this extremely satisfying process. Uh, this uh, is uh, Professor Vinay Gudi from uh, Mulund College of Commerce. Formal education gives you. a plethora of subjects but as you grow you need to specialize and when you have to specialize you need to have the right skills and cfx gives you the right skills especially in the space of banking finance to get the best cutting edge and know what is relevant now and to have a sustainable future this course is having a right blend of practical and theory so it's a must for everyone who wants to plan and she is a student who has a uh, clear my name is mansi rani the lean, the learning experience at the cfx has been great the entire team is very supportive and cooperative the study materials are easy to follow and the practical assignments helps to overcome the fear of facing real world job scenarios in a big way i would like to thank all my trainers fellow students mentors and the entire team of team to make me job ready today thank you My name is Mansi Rani. The, the learning we experience. We have a great asset. We'd like to thank formal education. Sorry. So this uh, you just heard from an uh, industry expert, from a college, and a student. So uh, now the next steps uh, for you is, and again, as you all know, uh, I mean the fees for this certification program is forty-five thousand. 
plus 18% GST, which makes it 53,100 plus an NISM exam fees. As I told you, one NISM exam is a part of this certification. So the NISM exam fees is 1,500. So it is 53,100 plus 1,500. It makes it 54,600. So Currently, the scheme which we are running is you just have to pay 50% upfront, which means you have to pay 27,300 upfront. So what you have to do is you have to make that payment. You will get the uh, login credentials you have to complete your profile and then the training will start uh, in which, of course, uh, the NISM training, the NISM exam and the CFX final exam. You will become a chartered financial expert by clearing both the exams. We will help you with the placement interview with the corporates. And then you pay us the balance fee after you have a job in hand. And then you get your final CFX certification. Uh, yeah, this is the core team. Basically, uh, we all are from the financial services with more than 20, 25 years of experience. And based on our experience, we have designed this certification where we are just trying to bridge the gap between the academia and the corporate. In college and all, you have studied the theory, the fundamental knowledge, but the extra skills which is required to enter into a corporate we are trying to uh, give you, train you on those skills. So this is all from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Nisha. Uh